Hello and welcome to this week's 35 Plus Weather Shop. It's our weekly retailer review where we showcase our favourite brands and designers based on your style personality, colour palette, dress code and body shape. So what we do is every week we go through different retailers and brands and work out if they're right for you, showcase new season trends and also gives you some, give you some tips and tricks on how to wear each of our favourite pieces. So let's dive in and see who we have today. So this week it is all about Q. Q was founded in 1968 and opened their first flagship store in the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Now Q was inspired by a trip that Rod Levis had to London in the 1950s, but really noticed it was that youth-driven fashion. And that has stayed with Q over its very, very rich history. So if I was to describe the overall vibe of Q, I would say it's sort of edgy workwear and barwear. Lots of great pieces that are on trend but still timeless and just pushing that fashion boundary just a little bit. And I love that they do interesting suiting. It's not your stock standard classic. So if we're looking for the style personality of Q, I would say that it's got an elegant base it has sultry uh, feminine vibe to it with that dash of edgy creative. And I think the edginess comes in with the combination of the sultry and the creative in there. And you'll see when I show you some of my favourites. When it comes to colour palette, I do find that we get a seasonal colour palette coming through. They always have really great neutrals for both warms and cool colour palettes. And this season we are seeing quite a mix of cools and warms different textures and also metallics and sequins, which I'm completely excited about. When it comes to body shape, usually I would say it's more geared towards your hourglass because they really do create that hourglass uh, silhouette. So which is great for your hourglass, your triangle, and also your inverted triangle. However, I have noticed this season, they do have a lot of those, what we call boxing soft shift dresses, which are great for rectangles as well. And a few of the jackets that I'm going to show you are really awesome for rectangles because I often find the lapels can be a little bit too much on the bust area for hourglasses and inverted triangles as well. And they've got those really streamlined jackets coming through, which are Great. So I can't wait to show you those. Sizing wise, you're looking at from a size 6 to 14. And I would say for sizing, you are looking true to size for their sizing. And price point, you're looking at $235 starting point for a dress. You're looking at $180 for pants or skirts, $95 for tops, and then from $280 for your blazers right up to the sort of $600, $700 mark for coats. When it comes to delivery and returns, they are available in stores across Australia and New Zealand, and they also have concession stores within Myers across Australia as well. So all states and territories are covered. They do have free delivery for orders over $250. Uh, it is $9 for standard delivery or $8 for express. They've actually got this new service, and you might want to investigate a little bit further, which is a three-hour delivery if you uh, order before 2 p.m., and it's available at a store that's within a 30 kilometre radius from you. So you'll just need to check the website. You can actually pre-book three-hour delivery slots as well. And they also have 15-day returns from date of delivery, and you can return online or in-store too. So let's check out, because I've got a few, of my favourites. But before we do, I just have to remind you that if you want to find more retailers and brands that are perfect for you based on your style personality, colour palette and dress code, pop on over to 35plusweathershop.com. And I'd also encourage you as well to join our free Facebook group where we have hundreds, over a thousand women helping each other out find the perfect pieces for them. So pop in there, ask a question. We are finding everything from teal coats, the right sort of makeup replacement, um, the perfect place to find some sunglasses. It's all covered in there. So let's take a look at some of my favourites. So today we're actually going to focus a little bit just on more, I would say, the corporate wear and suiting. Just because I know at this time of year, it's much easier if you are in more of that corporate environment to do the suit because it's, you know, something that you don't necessarily have to think too hard about. 
But also, as you'll see with um, some of the posts that Christy will be doing in our Facebook group, showing how to use suits as separates as well so that you're even expanding your wardrobe even further. So I just wanted to focus on that today. First off, we've got the Forest Twill Collars Jacket. This is gorgeous. So in terms of style personality, this is really great for your elegant. It's fantastic for your sultry. If you're a dramatic or rebellious or, you know, even a classic would might be a little bit too edgy for a classic, but you never know. Um, feminine might be too structured for you. What I love about it in terms of body shape, it really creates that hourglass shape um, through the cinching at the waist and the detail around the bust and the hip area there. I really like it because it will work really well over dresses because of the length of it and the shaping through it. And it equally works well with skirts and pants. And you'll notice, um, I'll show you in a moment, that it has a matching skirt. The other reason I love it is because it doesn't have lapels. And therefore, it gives you a really streamlined look and tends to fit over breasts. So much better. <laughs> so I'm a big fan of this sort of style of jacket as a blazer. Super flattering and works with lots of things. So it does come in a matching skirt. And the other reason I want to show you that is this forest green. So depth wise, for colour, you're looking for if you're medium to deeper colour, depth for colour. And I do find that it can be quite neutral. So warms and cools can get away with it. If, you, if your depth is medium to light, you can wear it if you layer something lighter underneath. Then it makes it more of a medium value too. Um, I haven't seen it in store, so it's hard to see texture, but I would say that it's slightly what we call soft or muted, so better for those colour palettes too. Next up, I know that we keep going on about navy as a really great base, but another fantastic base is your grey, and this is the grey melange colourless jacket. And again, you'll notice that the shape is very similar. It's got a little bit more detail around the shoulder and neckline with that little bit of a collar coming up, even though it is a collarless jacket. So I did want to show you this because it comes with the skirt. It is a lighter grey, so if you're medium to deeper in depth for your colour palette, then I would opt for something that is a little bit deeper or richer, so medium to deeper value underneath if you are layering this. So great, again, for your hourglasses, triangles, inverted triangles, and also your rectangle shape too. So this is the jacket. You'll find here that we have the matching wide leg pant. And as always, I recommend that if you are going to go for a wide leg pant and you are not a rectangle, then you really do need to tuck in or do what we call the magic tuck, which is a slight side tuck with the draping blouse across or opt for a top that is semi-fitted to fitted so that we see your shape through there. And then, as you would have seen in the previous picture, we do have the gorgeous pencil skirt coming through too. Next up now, this is a bit of fun. Now you've seen the jacket straight away, but actually what I'm showing you is the slim leg, leg trouser in the corduroy and the color that it is in here is the tan, which is gorgeous. And you can see here it's been um, paired with this beautiful cord tapestry jacket. So I wanted to show you this, especially if you're a warmer colour palette. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do traditional suiting, but you want a little bit of a more tailored look. This is particularly great for your creatives. And this is what I love about Q. They take, I guess, a classic elegant piece and make it have a little bit of a twist and edge by one, the colour and also the fabrics that they use too. So this slim leg trouser, for example, will work for all body shapes, it's really how you combine it, either to create an hourglass shape, which they've done here by having a jacket that cinches in at the waist. However, you can go for something that's a little bit boxy and soft on top. So what I mean by that is like a flowing blouse or something like that that just drapes over and then that creates the inverted triangle shape. So it does come in the corduroy fitted blazer as well. And you can see they've paired it here with a gorgeous um, pussy bow blouse, which is really, really pretty. And then back to, um, oh, I brought up the slim leg jacket again. I meant to show you the blazer, the corduroy blazer. Let me bring that up for you now so that you can see that. So it's the tapestry jacket, double-breasted jacket, which is super, super fun. 
with that. So great for creating width across the shoulder line there too. So cord is a huge trend this season. Gray is a huge trend this season. Season Your forest greens and your teals are also big trends. But the other trend that's coming through is lots and lots of velvet and Q has heaps of it. However, I just wanted to show you their crushed velvet front tuck pant, which is in a black, but it's got that sort of shimmery shine to it because it's a crushed velvet. Again, with this, you'd want to tuck in and you'd probably want to go for a slightly pointy um, toe or more sort of rounded and tapered rather than anything that's too flat, just to create that length through the leg, especially because the trouser is a little bit wider. Uh, tucking in or putting it with like a fitted jacket would be really, really beautiful here. And one last thing I wanted to show you was just this asymmetric crop sleeve dress. So again, this is quite a soft colour. This is what we call forest, but you can see it's not quite as intense as our suiting that I showed you before. I love a long sleeve or three quarter sleeve dress for winter. It's one of those things that you can just pop on. You can see here it's been styled with opaques. You can make it quite dressy by wearing it with a sheer um, stocking, with a heel. You can see they put it with a wide belt here, which is gorgeous. But at the same time, you could pair this with a long line cardigan, a pair of opaques and boots for the weekend as well. So style personality wise, I'd say it's really good for your sultries and also your elegance. Creatives can have a lot of fun with this too, especially if you mix it up with other longer line draping and layering pieces. Body shape wise, this is going to be particularly good for your hourglass and probably triangle. Inverted triangle, um, you probably need to layer a little bit uh, and rectangle, you just want to make sure that the waist is at sitting at the right spot for you. And then in terms of um, dress code, again, as I mentioned before, you can dress it up and dress it down as well. So they are just some of my favourites. So thanks so much for joining me again this week to take a look at Q. There is one more thing I want to say about Q. They are still one of the largest manufacturers of clothing in Australia. So they do actually uh, make all their clothes here in Australia, which I think is wonderful. And they also have the Ethical Clothing Australia accreditation as well. So they're very transparent about their supply chains, which I think is really important. It's something that we're taking a lot more notice of now in terms of who makes our clothes. If you have any retailers or brands that you would love us to review, please leave a comment below or email me or um, Facebook mes messages because we're always looking for new brands and retailers to explore and share with everyone else as well. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.